Welcome to Eagle's Kitchen. I'm your host, Kiara Williams. Today we are making chicken and sausage gumbo. The ingredients pictured here will be in the description below. We'll be using boneless chicken thighs. In my opinion, dark meat brings in the best flavor to the dish. To make a gumbo starts with the root. In our cast iron dutch oven, we add one cup of oil on medium root and then one cup of flour once the oil gets hot. Now we begin stirring. It takes time to make roux. Don't let me fool you, but the roux can make you or break you because you could easily burn it and you would have to start all over. Yet, it's simple to do. It just takes time and patience. As you can see, we are continuously stirring. You'll notice the changing of color getting darker and darker. If you notice your roux becoming clumpy, it means your flour is getting too hot and you need to turn it down. After 55 minutes, your roux is done and it should look like this. Now it's time to add our ingredients. We begin by adding the sausage. Turn up the heat to medium high and let the sausage cook in the roux. Now your roux is still cooking and getting darker as you're cooking the sausage. This is fine, however, continue to stir. As I stated earlier, your roux makes your gumbo. Now we add our trinity, which consists of onions, bell pepper, and celery. Stir it into the roux and sausage and let it saute. Once your vegetables become translucent, we add the chicken and we cut it into bite-sized strips. All we're trying to do at this point is mix the chicken into the pot. Because it's boneless, it will cook fast. Once we get our meat submerged, we're going to add our minced garlic. Stir. We're going to let our pot cook for about three to five minutes until we start to see a small boil. Now we would add chicken broth at this time. However, we didn't have any. So we we're adding water instead. Add until the pot fills up close to one inch below the rim. After we stir the water in, it's time to add our seasonings. We'll start by adding bay leaves. Now add salt and pepper. Here's the secret to a great gumbo. We're going to add some chicken bouillons because we don't have any chicken broth. Even so, I would still add some because it adds to the flavor. Mix well and let it all come together. Now it's time to cover it and let it hard boil for about 20 minutes. Once you uncover the pot, you will notice there is a layer of grease on the top. Begin skimming the grease. Find some old cans because you will have a lot to skim. If not, you're going to have an upset stomach, greasy lips, and probably never want to cook gumbo again. This next step is optional. Since the pot is boiling well, we like to have boiled eggs with our gumbo. It takes about 10 minutes. And to take our boiled eggs out, we'll put it in cool water and unshell them. Well, at this point, your gumbo is done. However, we're going to add some shrimp, which is also optional. We've cleaned and removed the tail shells. Now stir well for about five minutes. Also continue skimming the pot. And finally, add the boiled eggs to the mix. Let it simmer for about three more minutes. 
when the gumbo is done and so we turn it off and this is my favorite part. If you need more seasoning, now is the time to add, but it's always up to you on how you want and how well you season your food. Now it's your turn. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you next time on Eagle's Kitchen.